In this next section, we're going to discuss antidepressants and mood stabilizers for managing explosive behavior. There is some limited evidence for the use of mood stabilizers such as lithium and Depakote in the treatment of explosive behavior. The data for both of these medications, again, is fairly limited with a small number of double-blind placebo-controlled trials supporting their use. However, the studies that are available do show that both lithium and Depakote seem to be effective for treating aggression, irritability, and mood symptoms across a variety of psychiatric disorders. Studies investigating the use of lithium for aggression use dosages in the range of 250 to 2,100 mg daily. Studies investigating the use of Depakote in aggression use dosages in the range of 125 to 1,500 mg daily. There are a very limited number of studies exploring the use of carbamazepine in the treatment of explosive behavior. Of the two studies that I found prior to this presentation, one study did show improvement in aggression and explosiveness, but the other study did not find any benefit, and the number of subjects in both studies was very small. So for this reason, carbamazepine is not currently recommended for the treatment of explosive behavior in children and adolescents. In terms of the antidepressants, there are a number of studies that looked at the use of antidepressants for the treatment of explosive behavior. However, the majority of these studies looked at the use of antidepressants in treating conditions that would typically be treated with antidepressants. So for example, these studies were conducted in children who had OCD, depression, anxiety, or other conditions where these medications would normally be prescribed. Because of this, it is not recommended to use antidepressants to treat explosive behaviors unless there is a primary disorder that would normally be treated by an antidepressant, such as a primary mood or anxiety disorder or OCD. The key points for this section are that, number one, there is limited evidence for the use of lithium and Depakote in the treatment of aggression in children and adolescents. These agents can be considered if second-generation antipsychotics have failed or are contraindicated or if there is a desire to use a mood stabilizer in combination with a second-generation antipsychotic because the second-generation antipsychotic is helpful but does not completely treat the behavior. And number two, evidence supports the use of antidepressants for aggression only in children with a primary psychiatric diagnosis that would respond to an antidepressant such as anxiety, depression, or OCD.